Hello and welcome to the third part of this pad game tutorial. Today we're going to work on our player class some more. We're going to give it some movement. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the player file and we're going to go down here and create a new function. Find it as movement. So we're going to do keys equals pad game dot key dot get pressed. We'll do if keys pad game at k left, press right, and self at game dot all sprites, right, rect, x plus equals player speed, self dot x change minus equals player speed self at facing equals left. Okay, so basically what this is going to do is this is going to move all of our parts of the map according to which key we're doing. That way our character stays in the middle. So it'll make it look like our character is moving around the map, but it's actually the map moving behind the character. So I'll show you. First, we got to do the player speed. So we're going to create this variable in the config file, player speed. We'll set this to three for now. And then we're gonna change the facing to left. This will be useful when we do our animation. And then the X change will change the speed of the sprites when the key is pressed. So since this code is going to be so redundant, we're gonna just go ahead and copy and paste it. Copy, paste, paste, I'm going to go through and do K right minus equals and then plus equals. And of course, make sure on the up and down that the Y is being used instead of the X. Okay, so let's try it. Nothing's working yet. That's because we still got to update it. Okay, so we need to create an update function. So def update self self dot movement. Now, if you'll notice, once I've done this, if we go into our game, it's going to move everything, including our characters. So watch. I push right, it moves everything to the left. If I push left, it moves everything to the right. What we want our program to do is keep our character in the middle while we do this, so it makes it look like he's walking around. So what we'll do is we'll do self dot rect dot y plus equals self dot y change. Same with our self dot x. Self dot rect dot x plus equals self dot x change so then after that we want our self dot x change and self dot y change to change back to zero so it won't just make him fly self dot x change equals zero self dot y change equals zero so let's try that now it looks like he's standing in the middle and everything is moving. So that's working good. So now let's work on making him look like he's walking. We'll do that by animating him. So we've already brought in our character sheet. So now we just need to figure out which parts we want to use for which part of the animation. And to do that, we're going to go into our animation file. And in here, we're going to import math and Pygame and sprites. So then we are going to define player animation, animation, self, then we will do self dot down animation equals, and this will create our list of pieces. So we will start with self dot game character sprite sheet 
a get sprite. And in here we need to pull that piece. So we'll open up our character file. I already know what the coordinates are. You can open it up and count the pixels, or you can just follow which coordinates that I grabbed. So I'll do zero, comma, zero, comma, self, dot width, and self dot height. So let's grab it from that part of the file. So zero, zero coordinates would be up here in the top left. So it'll grab that first image. And then what we're going to do is we're going to walk it through these images to make it look like he's walking. So we want to grab those other three coordinates. I already know what they are. So I'm going to go copy, paste, paste for those three. Of course, don't forget your commas. We do 32 and 64. Now we want to copy this and we want to create our down and left and right animations as well. So we change this to up. Change this part to 32. Will be our next row. Notice he looks like he's looking up. These coordinates will stay the same because it's just kind of going in a row. That's the way I set up the file. Let's do 96. And finally, 64. Then we want to define player animation animate and what this will do is this will make it where whichever direction we are going it's going to run through that specific animation loop it will do if self at y change double equals zero and self dot image equals self Dot game character sprite sheet dot get sprite zero zero self dot width and self dot height else. So what this will do is if he's not moving, it's going to keep a stationary image so it doesn't look like he's walking when he's standing still. So if he's not standing still, then we're going to run through the animation loop. Self.image. Self.down animation. And then we are going to do some math. Floor. Self.animation loop. What this will do this is going to set the image as the self dot down animation which is these images up here according to the rounded down number of the animation loop so we need to make the animation loop so we'll do self animation loop plus equals 0 0.1 this will mean every frame it's going to add 0 0.1 and of course once it gets over one it's going to drop it down to make it look like one so that it'll grab the first image but we need it to stop once it gets to three so that it doesn't go out of range of our images so to do that we'll do if self animation loop greater than or equal to three then we need to start over with self dot animation loop equals one so we only want it to do this part if it's facing down. So let's go ahead and select it all and push tab to scoot it all over. And then let's create an if statement. So if self dot facing double equals down, then we'll run this. But now we got to duplicate all of this. So Change it to up, left, 
right. 32, 96, 64. We need this part to be up. Be left. And this to be right. I believe that's all the parts we need to do for our player animation at the moment. So let's go back to our player class. And we want to update the animation. So let's do self.animate. But we still have to create that animation in our character too. So we're just going to send it straight over to our animation. We'll create a define animate self player animation animate. Then we'll plug in the self. So let's try that out. Now it looks like he's going left and right, but it's not cycling through our animation. So we got to figure out why not. So I see what I've done here. It looks like I've got Y change on the up and down, and then I left the Y change on the left and right. So we'll change that. Then I also forgot to change this. To left and this to right animation. Okay, so when I try it, it gives me this player object out attribute of down animation. So we need to go back to our player class and put in here player underscore animation self. And we have another error whenever I push up, but everything else seems to be working right. And that's because I left X change instead of Y change. So we got to fix that. So now you push up, down. Notice how it looks like he's walking around on his map now. So we've got this working great. But the problem is, is he can walk right off if he wants to, which we don't want him to. So we're going to work on that on the next tutorial. We're going to set some boundaries and get some more cool things to our game. So if you liked it, please like and subscribe so you can join me for the next part of the tutorial. And thanks for viewing.